My father was on township, the township council, actually. Um, I, the, the thing that I remember is that they did not want the, the town did not want the high school built where it was. They thought the, the high school should be built in the town. So there was always that distinction between the two. And um, I think it's been better since they amalgamated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that helped. Well, I got to realize that so many children were coming from well, all yeah, over. Well, yeah, the township was so much bigger than the town. Yeah. And for busing and everything, it was it would have been, you know, unrealistic to have it at the very end of the area that it's covering, and the property was. Yeah, and at that time, there was still a division that you live on the country and we live in and town. And we live in town. And it still applies really today. Oh, it does. It does. <laughs> this is where we got the designation Old Town. They don't want to be called a town neck. These people live right in the, quote, Old Town. Don't want to be connected with the people that live out in Queenston, <laughs> St. David's, which again is counted all as neck on Lake. Um, so well, not long ago, maybe 10, 12, well, maybe 15 years ago, my daughter had a friend who lived in St. David's, and her grandmother lived in town. And she said, the grandmother said to my daughter, where do you live? And she said, in Niagara on the Lake. And she said, but where in Niagara on the Lake? And she said, on East and West Line. And she said, well, then you're not really in the town, are you? And my daughter, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So it's, but I think the amalgamation, I think people, like the arena went up in 67. And again, why is it going up out there? You know, like it was like there wasn't anything out there, but there were more people out there. I think it was like ten to two, ten mm -hmm. to twenty-five hundred, mm -hmm. ten thousand. Yeah, in those areas, and 